everybody, welcome back to another episode of CampingGearTV.com. I am Ben. I'm Josh. And we are entering a very special week this week. Mm -hmm. This is Wanger Week. Yep. Wanger is the company that uh, makes Swiss Army products. Yep. I think we're all familiar with the Swiss Army knife. And yeah. They've been uh, kind enough to work with us to send mm -hmm. us uh, a whole array of products that we're yeah. going to take a look at this week in succession. Yeah. And uh, it's just really, really cool just to be able to take a look at. Uh, I mean, they, they don't just make just that Swiss Army knife. They right. have a whole bunch of stuff, and we're, so we're going to take a look at a variety of products. Yeah. So yeah. what do we got here for uh, first item up? So what we got today is the Mike Horn Adventure Ranger Swiss Army knife. It looks like a really big version of the Swiss Army knife that I think we're all familiar with. It does. Um, I think. I like to think of this almost more as a multi-tool, though, mm -hmm. than, uh, than a pocket knife that has every little gizmo that you can imagine. This is really um, utilitarian, if mm -hmm. you will. Sure. So, um, Mike Horn is uh, known for his adventures out in the world, and I'd be lying if I said that I had heard of him before they sent us this knife. But apparently, Mike Horn's done a lot of hardcore, around-the-world stuff. He did something called the Pangea Expedition. Uh, and that's actually um, what uh, this, uh, this knife was made for. Um, so Mike's doing this big Pangea expedition, circumventing the globe with nothing but a backpack and a small camel or something like that. Sounds manly. Yeah, and so Swiss Army, he asked them to make, or Wanger, he asked them to make a knife uh, to suit his needs. And so they came up with a really cool product that provides kind of the basics for if you're uh, you know out in the wilderness for an extended period of time. Um, it's pretty hardcore, so let's get into it and talk about it. Um, the, uh, the knife is really made in a lot of ways so that it's got a lot of one-handed operations, right? So if you can see, there's these big loops on it that the knives come out of, right? So it's got a, a standard straight blade, okay? Which, you know, you can operate with one hand if need be. What can you, you cut? Know? What can you cut with that? The types of things you can cut with this would include cucumbers, mm -hmm. tomatoes maybe, tomatoes, possibly turnips, and or wolf meat. Wolf meat. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. And anything else you can cut with a nice uh, straight edge blade. Um, so this straight edge blade um, is, uh, is cool. And then the other one you have here is the serrated edge standard blade. Okay. And um, this, uh, the tip has a, uh, a standard cutting edge, and then it also has a blunt point on the end of it, which can be used for all sorts of stuff. So one of the things that allows it to be so effective is that the, the, the knife is locked into place. You, can't, you physically cannot push it back in, right? So you know, like with a lot of uh, pocket knives, you really have to be careful because if the knife and the blade is not locked into place and you're using it wrong, you know, you can have an accident. Losing With fingers. this one, it locks into place. And then on the side of the knife, on the Swiss Army symbol, is the release point. So if you push that in and then push it down, it closes. A very nice thing about this, and again, why I say it's more like a multi-tool than a standard pocket knife, because you can actually really use this. Whereas a lot of pocket knives might say they have pliers on them or scissors. They're so small, what are you going to do with them? This thing has like a full size set of pliers that come off of it, right? And so you can tell proportionally compared to the size of my hand, you know, that this is actually really sturdy, right? The, um, the, the, the pliers have fine grips as well as bigger grips. They can be used as a, um, I think a, a hex wrench um, in the middle. Uh, it's also got a wire cutter in there. So, you know, kind of the standard stuff you would expect with it but um, compared to a normal pocket knife, uh, just very sturdy. Yeah, and I think we're finding too with the, with the tool, like yeah. Josh is pointing out, that even each tool within the multi-tool has a lot of times multiple functions that it right. can do. Yeah. You know, so there's yeah. really, really a lot of options for yeah. this uh, tool to be able to perform. So to talk about a couple of the other things it has, it has a metal uh, file slash, you know, cutting saw. Right, very abrasive. File something, you know, cut, you know, metal with it, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's very nice. Um, it also has a can opener. Comes off the back here like this. You know, I mean, you could really mess something up with that. This is a little sharp little point. Yeah, that can opener is. That'll, uh, that'll open a can. Yeah, and then some. Yeah, yeah. definitely. 
can of whoop ass. Right. On a can. Right. Yeah. I think that was there. I think Mike Horn. Keychain. I think Mike Horn encountered lots of cans that yeah. put up a fight on his expedition. Yep. And he went to Wanger and he said, no more of this. Put it to an end. We need to get the message through to the cans that we're just not going to take this we're crap not stand anymore. for it. Nope. No. no. And we're here to tell you right now that uh, it, it, it yeah. definitely works. So. That was the end of the can situation. Continue, please. Yeah. So, um, you know, I think those are all the tools that it's got on it, with the exception of the um, of the screwdriver, which is a, a built-in screwdriver bit adapter. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah. So let me grab the case. I neglected to show the case that it comes in is like this, right? Pretty and standard. It comes with a, a standard and a Phillips bit, right? So with your typical uh, with your typical multi-tool, usually you will put the the screw in some sort of a you know hex bit adapter that's you know in the top, right? And so then you're twisting it like a normal screwdriver. This thing has the the adapter on the side. You push in, it locks in pretty well. You know, it can come out, but you can hear it locking. Hold on. Shh. My goodness. Snap. And as opposed to like a normal screwdriver twisting, it actually twists from the side. And because it goes into the side of it, you get a lot more leverage. Torque. Yeah. More torque. A lot more torque. I thought that was, you know, pretty cool. Actually, it is really, really you neat. Know? So you've got those two options. Um, the handle is, is uh, uh, made of sustainable products, wood, instead of the typical um, you know, synthesized plastics that they use. What is, what's it called? They got here, polypropylene. Right. Normally, you know, it's in the handle of these. This one is wood, and not just any wood. It is wood that is produced partly from with one of Mike Horn's horns on his head, right? It's not one of his horns. Oh. That's actually in the Mike Horn horn edition. Oh. And this one, it comes from sustainable forests, mm. right? So it's, uh, you know, managed forests, sustainable, all that kind of stuff. So uh, that was a big deal for Mike when he had him put this together. He wanted something that was environmentally friendly, had all the right stuff, and that was something you could actually use. can take a beating, though. I don't think yeah. you're going to have a problem with this cracking, you know, no. after a couple of uses just because you have a wooden no. handle. You know, no. very, very serious. And I think yeah. that what we were finding is, you know, because that handle yeah. has to be able to take, you know, that, that torque from that mm -hmm. screwdriver that mm -hmm. it, it holds up pretty well. Yeah, so the... Um the, the Wanger Mike Horn Around the World Adventurer Ranger Swiss Army Knife. It may be a mouthful, uh, but it's a pretty damn good pocket knife slash multi-tool. It costs that? about $130. Yeah. Sure. Um, I've seen it $130 to $150 about. Um, so I think pretty good deal. Right, yeah. I think yeah. We, we've looked at a couple multi-tools over the past week, uh, yeah. uh, you know, a couple of weeks. Yeah. And certainly there have been some that have been underneath that price. Right. But I also don't know if they have as many features as this one does. They have, they, they have features. What I like about this one is this is very substantial. The knife, right. the locking mechanism, the size, the way, the ergonomics of it. It just feels like a serious tool. The thing, the thing for me is because if, if we look at this, I think we're all familiar with like what a traditional multi-tool looks like. Yeah. And this looks like just a large version of the Swiss Army knife. Yeah. Now, not to knock that version because that tool has its own place, but one of the things that always just bothers me is like trying to get your fingernail in there to get that. Right. Well, I don't have this problem because the tool is meaty enough for, and, you know, especially with these grips right here and the, the nail bits that are in there, it's just very easy yeah. to get the tools out and they, like I said right. before, it can definitely take a beat. Like yeah. horn. All around good tool. Yeah. So uh, this is our first episode for Wanger Week. We got three more coming up, so definitely come back and check out some more products from Wanger and yeah. other episodes that we have. Until then, CampingGearTV.com.